this was a really cool week in the shop. I got this massive machine in. This is going to be a 5 foot by 10 foot uh, router from CNC Router Parts. There will be videos coming from that soon. I also got my 4th axis kit as well as my uh, fog buster for the Tormach. I installed the fog buster because I think I'll be able to get much prettier videos. I still need to find a way to get closer, but this will help over uh, flood cooling. I also got tons new end mills and thought it would be a good idea to practice and figure out what I'm doing. So I decided to make one of those fidget spinners that everybody's making and figure out uh, feeds and speeds, you know, practice that a bit since that was a huge weak point of mine. I've got G-Wizard installed and I've just been tinkering around with settings and it was time to actually test it out and see what kind of results I could get. So I slapped a huge chunk of brass in place and uh, using my brand new Heimer, which I'm really excited about as well, I got working. I started with a face, you can see already my feeds and speeds are so much better. Got chips flying all over. I did notice a bit of what could be steam or smoke, and I don't know if that's normal with a with a uh, fog buster or if I'm running too hot. So I followed that facing operation up with a uh, 3D adaptive to get the bulk of the shape of the uh, fidget spinner out of the brass. And once that 3D adaptive got done with the main shape, that was a 3 8 I did a second pass that was a 2D contour finishing pass to get a real beautiful uh, finish on the sides. And oh my goodness, it looked gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Like almost a mirror finish on those sides. I tried out the ball bearing, it didn't fit. So I jumped back into Fusion and expanded that hole by uh, 0.1 millimeters and went back in and widened it out a tiny bit. Uh, but I didn't film that. So here I am adding these little side holes with a 1 8 inch end mill. Uh, again, I'm doing a 3D adaptive and then a 2D contour finishing pass to make it pretty. And I finish up everything with a chamfer, which I had left the settings a bit too wide for my taste. This chamfer ended up fat. I'm using a ball end end mill. Um, it was okay. Now once I flipped everything over, things went downhill fast. It sounded different. Uh, everything was more vibrating. I think I attacked it too aggressively right off the bat or had messed something up before. I was running around the machine looking, trying to figure out what was going on. Uh, I stopped my feed rate and looked and tested everything out. Here I am facing after I did that 3D adaptive to clear stuff away and I can feel it's just not the same. And then uh, there's a crash. Okay, time for the postmortem. Side one, everything was going beautifully. My face turned out just gorgeous. My uh, side finish here was coming through just fantastically. That, uh, that second pass just really does a number. I mean, look at that, it's gorgeous. My chamfer was bigger than I would ideally want it, but um, I don't think it ruins it, and I can just change that in a setting. Now I know. However, when I flipped things over, everything went downhill. I could feel that it was more vibrate -y. Like, everything seemed to rumble more on this side, and I wasn't really sure why. And I, I couldn't see until I stopped until after this operation had gone by and I reached in and I felt it, this is not smooth. It's, it's kind of wavy. And you can see it's got this really odd pattern. And you can feel those. You can kind of see here on the edge that those dip down in. And uh, I pulled the tool out and looked at it and I can see one of the tips of one of the teeth is snapped off. So I suspect that that is the result of that. I hope that's it and not something crazy like my machines knocked out a tram. So I thought I would go ahead and just chamfer this uh, real quick uh, and call it a day. And I had put the wrong tool length in there and it smashed into here, which was terrifying, but I just decided that's it, call it a day. 
So I'm gonna throw a bearing in there and um, let my kids play with it and I'll play with it. And uh, again, you know, I feel like I learned a lot. I feel like I'm starting to get some cool results. I am so excited to be able to finally make good looking stuff. Uh, feeds and speeds with G-Wizard, so much better.